Welcome everybody to the top 10 strongest One Piece characters. Number 10 is the right hand man to the Yonko Shang, Ben Beckman. Ben Beckman is known to be one of the smartest characters in One Piece. During the Marine Ford War, we've seen the right hand man to a Yonko going against admirals, and that pretty much shown us that the right hand man to Yonkos are able to fight with admirals. There was a moment with Kizaru, yes, Kizaru, the yellow monkey, the admiral of the Marines, the strongest force, who gave respect to Ben Beckman. Now, that's, I'm not saying Kizaru was scared, but he gave him some respect later on going to attack him, so he just forgot what Ben Beckman said, but he did give him some respect. Number 9 is the former Admiral Aokiji. We know he was a former Admiral and that pretty much shows to his strength as one of the strongest members in the Marines. Back in his younger days, we know that he was under the tutelage of Garp. And during the time skip, he fought with Akainu for 10 days. 10 days on Punk Hazard, the island environment pretty much changed. Now he did lose a limb and I do not know how it will help him in battle. But we know characters like Shanks who has lost an arm and really didn't deteriorate their strength. Number 8, the Admiral Kizaru. He was able to go toe to toe with the Dark King Rayleigh. And some will argue that he had the advantage. In his battles in Marine Ford, we never really saw Kizaru trying. He went up against Marco, but then in the end, he really didn't try against Marco. Their fight was in a 1v1, pretty much going at it. Where we did see moments where he was trolling Whitebeard. But in Sabaori, we see him easily dismantle the supernovas. Now, for Kizaru, that wasn't really a feat because Kizaru was way stronger than them, but it says something. Honestly, we haven't seen him go fully all out, but I believe that Kizaru deserves the 8th spot. Number 7 is the strongest swordsman in the world, Dracul Mihawk. Like most of these characters on this list, we haven't really seen them tried, and Mihawk hasn't even named an attack yet. In his younger days, we know him and Shanks used to have duels. Everybody would have heard about these duels. That's how great they were. And we know he's confident as a lone wolf. Yes, he's a warlord, but he is a lone wolf, and this is why I have Mihawk at number 7. Number 6 is the Yonko Big Mom. Big Mom is amongst the four strongest pirates in the One Piece world as we speak. She is respected throughout the new world. If you get an invitation to her tea party, you better show up. Now we do not know that much about Big Mom, but we do know she had some knowledge of Garp. Yes, Garp is a hero and everybody knows him, but it would be really cool if we saw her and Garp maybe clash back in the days. And when we did see Big Mom, she had acid spooning down her mouth, she was eating crew members. Big Mom is a savage. At number 5, I have the Admiral, actually no, the former Admiral, the Fleet Admiral, Akainu. In my opinion, Akainu is the strongest active Marine right now. Two years ago, we seen Akainu go against Whitebeard, and Whitebeard was sick and injured, but I did see Akainu equal it out with Whitebeard. At the end, Whitebeard did kind of jump him, and he... I kind of did get his ass beat, but still, out of all the characters in Marine Ford, I was the most impressed by Akainu. Number 4 is said to be the strongest creature alive. Let me repeat that. Number 4 is said to be the strongest creature alive. He has sunk in 9 prison mammoth ships. 30 times given the death sentence. They tried to hang, use the guillotine, and skewer, but it all failed. Now, the reason why I don't have Kaido at number 1 is because when they say strongest creature alive, I honestly believe they're talking about his durability because they give him so much durability feats. We know we're getting built up to Kaido, and if Kaido is the strongest character right now, then after Kaido's defeated, what excitement are we going to see? But I have to give Kaido a top 5 spot. Oda has shown too much savages with this character. Number 3 is the most wanted man in the world. Monkey D. Dragon. The most dangerous man in the world. We know he's the only one to lead a faction going straightly against the world government. This might be irrelevant, but I wanted to add it. He's the father to Monkey D. Luffy, the main character, and the son to the strongest marine of all time, Monkey D. Garp. Monkey D. Dragon is a mysterious character. We do not know enough about his power, but that gut feeling that he is going to be number 30 strongest character in One Piece. Number 2 is the man to have the strongest Permutia Del Fruit and the strongest Logia Del Fruit. He is the only man to obtain two Del Fruits, Marshall D. Teach, otherwise known as Blackbeard. Teach had the man known as Shanks worried about him. 
We know he scarred Shanks when Shanks was on guard and not being careless. During the time skip, we know he defeated Marco and the remnants of the Whitebeard Pirates with ease, overwhelmingly. And we can only come to the conclusion that during these two years of the time skip, Blackbeard has become stronger. He is now amongst the Yonko, the four strongest pirates in the One Piece world. We've seen the growth of Luffy during these two years, and Blackbeard, when he already had the Gurgur no Mi destroying Marine Four, going at Sengoku, just having a blast. With two years with that dub fruit, I want to see some crazy stuff from him. And number one, who I believe is the strongest character in One Piece, Akagami! Yes, Red Hair Shanks. Red Hair Shanks was an apprentice under the man known as Goldie Roger, yes, the Pirate King. We know that early on in his pirate life, he used to have multiple duels with Mihawk, the strongest swordsman in One Piece. We've seen his King's Haki damage the ship of the Moby Dick. Yes, the strongest man in the world's ship, the Moby Dick, was damaged just by his King's Conqueror's Haki. Oda has stated that if Shanks and Rayleigh were at Fishman Island and they used their Conqueror's Haki, they would have took out a hundred fishmen. All of them would have been on the ground. We see them split skies with Whitebeard when they clash. The strongest man in the world, this man has one hand, and they're clashing with Whitebeard, yo. And Whitebeard went, woo, two hands, yo, slamming on him. So that's scary because that strongest man and this guy's one hand just doing that. You gotta give him some props. And Shanks has even intercepted during the Marine Forward. Kaido, the strongest creature, has stopped his track. Now, I do not think they fought, but I think it was some sort of leverage, but that's still something to bring up. Shanks was also the man to stop the War of Marine Ford. Now, that's not really coming to his strength, but it's still something to talk about. But the final point in which I believe that Shanks is the strongest character in One Piece is this single fact. Luffy has to surpass Shanks. And I believe when Luffy surpasses Shanks and returns the Shroud to him, there's only going to be one foe left for Luffy, and that man is Marshal D. Teach. Now, I do not think Marshal D. Teach has surpassed Shanks as of yet, but he will. And this is the reason why I solely believe that Shanks is the strongest character in One Piece. I like to put the feats. And the story, more story, because a lot of these characters we haven't seen a lot of feats, because a lot of these characters haven't been revealed with their power. I honestly believe Shanks' power is speed. I honestly believe that Shanks uses the power of speed. We've seen a lot of situations in which Shanks has done things in an incredible amount of speed. But that is it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to see who you believe is the strongest characters in One Piece. Honestly, I did not want to include the guys who are retired, or well, not really retired, but not really. In action for the Gorosei because the Gorosei honestly that just confuses me I know they are strong but the Gorosei I need more but if you enjoyed this video like and share that would be greatly appreciated and if you subscribe for more One Piece theories and top 10s that would be great I'm Legend Mac and I'm gone